Desert dunes may often take up the spotlight in our minds when we think of sand dunes, but coastal dunes cover a surprisingly large amount of our planet. And just like with desert dunes, wind plays a huge role in their formation, but so does water. So it makes sense that scientists would be interested in where coastal dunes sit relative to the shore when trying to classify them. So it doesn't surprise me that floating around the internet are charts like this or this, labeling the dunes with colors like white, yellow, or gray depending on how far they are from the water. And whether you've studied these diagrams in the past or encounter them again in the future, I encourage you to banish them from your mind. Using color to label dunes is, as best as I can tell, something that only plant ecologists do and literally nobody else. Geologists don't ever use these terms, and for good reason, they're highly subjective. Using color as an identifier is not reliable. There are just too many different factors that can affect it. Unfortunately, pop science loves to take complicated topics and boil them down into easily digestible images, which is probably how these charts and terms got so popular in the first place. However, you can still generally order and classify dunes based on a successional model like this, but not with colors. So, with a clean slate, let's start at the coastal dune's inception, the embryo dune. Any kind of obstacle, like a plant or a piece of driftwood, acts as a windbreak and sand will begin to accumulate either underneath or behind the object. These embryo dunes spend months or even years growing and growing and growing. And if they are lucky, they will merge into the four dune ridge, the largest dune here. Not so lucky, and they will be swept back into the ocean. Together, embryo dunes and the four dune ridge make up what is known as the primary dune system. Water is king here and guarantees everything is aligned parallel to the shore. But past the tall four dune ridge we enter the secondary system, where wind reigns supreme. And despite going further along in the dune's evolution, it's gotten smaller. Shielded from the dangers of the water, animals are more likely to spend time here, stomping out the dune's height with their weight. This, among other factors, ensures that the dunes remain smaller than their predecessors. Both among and beyond many of these older dune ridges are more varied formations. Parabolic dunes, barkanoid ridges, and transverse dunes. So, to review. The dunes closest to the water are embryo dunes. They're formed by vegetation or driftwood blocking the path of sand and causing it to accumulate. These small embryo dunes can then evolve and merge into a four dune ridge. Moving out of the primary system and into the secondary system, we see that the dune immediately after the four dune ridge is a bit smaller. Beyond this is a who's who of different dunes that the wind shapes, or forested land. I'm speaking very generally here. All coastal dune systems will be a bit different. Peppered in between and on these major dunes will be many more minor formations, like slacks. These are hollows between dune ridges that graze or expose the water table. There are three types of slacks, depending on where the water table is relative to the depression. There are dry slacks, wet slacks, and flooded slacks. Speaking of flooded, powerful waves during storms can carve out scarps on the side of four dunes. The last of the minor formations are blowouts. These are created when wind removes sand from a dune ridge, creating one of two different types of hollows, saucer blowouts and trough blowouts. Saucer blowouts are typically formed on shallow slopes. Like the name implies, they're shaped like saucers. On steep slopes, you can find trough blowouts, which are shaped more like a taco or a hot dog bun. Wow, that looks really weird. What were we talking about? Oh yeah, blowouts. They often form into parabolic dunes, and what exactly is a parabolic dune and how are those formed? I answer questions like these in my Desert Dunes video, linked on the screen now.